U.S. head coach Vlatko Andonovsky has resigned after the team's worst performance at a Women's World Cup. The four-time winners were knocked out by Sweden in the last 16 on penalties at this year's tournament. It was the team's earliest exit from a World Cup, they had finished at least third at every other edition. Vlatko worked tirelessly for this team and has been a strong and positive leader for our women's program, sporting director Matt Crocker said. We're grateful for everything he has contributed to U.S. soccer and know he has a bright future in the sport. Andonovsky added, While we are all disappointed by the outcome at this year's World Cup, I am immensely proud of the progress this team has made, the support they've shown for each other, and the inspiration they've provided for players around the world. Twyla Kilgore, a current assistant coach of the national team, has been named interim head coach. Andonovsky's record with the team was 51 wins. Five draws and nine losses, while at major tournaments he oversaw three wins, two draws, and five defeats. He took charge of the team in October 2019 after Jill Ellis, the coach who led the team to back to back World Cup wins in 2015 and 2019, stood down. Andonovsky's reign started well as he set a record for the best start for a U.S. coach with 11 wins on the bounce. But an underwhelming outing at the Tokyo Olympics, where the U.S. won bronze, saw Andonovsky under pressure. The scrutiny intensified when the U.S. lost three consecutive matches in 2022 to England, Spain, and Germany, the team's worst losing streak in 29 years. In the World Cup, the U.S. started with a 3 0 win over Vietnam, but a 1 1 draw with the Netherlands and a goalless draw with Portugal meant they finished second in their group. It was the first time ever they had failed to win at least two group games. The U.S. were criticized for their performances in the group stage but put in an improved display against Sweden. However, they were repelled by an impressive performance from keeper Zesira Musovic, who made 11 saves over 120 minutes to send the match to penalties. During the shootout, U.S. veterans Megan r a p i n o and Kelly O'Hara were among those to miss, while Lena Hertig's winning penalty for Sweden was awarded after a video assistant referee check.